So if you just wanted to do a plain pump, let's say, or a court shoe as they call it in the UK, um, if, let's do the pointy toe like we did last time, last tutorial. Okay, we're going to really extend it out. All right. Now I'm going to erase the original toe. Okay, and we're going to do that same heel from last time. Something like this. Okay, so let's say you want to do just a very simple court shoe or pump. So um, you start about here in the middle of this curve. Okay, and just try to think of the pumps that you have. So you make this kind of line to show the center front, and then you bring it around. So my sketching style, I don't like to, to cover a lot of the foot in the sketch anyway with the shoe. So, and I always put a curve back here because I think it just looks a bit sexier than if I just drew a straight line. So here, I'll show you when you draw a straight line, I'll show you lightly. It would look something like that. I'll just draw over it so you can get a real feel for it. Okay, but then what I like to do is I like to do a bit of this. Just shows, shows a bit more and it kind of mirrors the arch of the curve here. So it just looks a little bit more sexy than, than a straight line. Okay, so that's a really simple pump. Now I'm just going to erase the other line in there. So then you also make sure that it extends a, a bit past the foot, not too much, but just so, so you can see there's, you illustrate that there's an actual shoe on a foot. Not that it's all molded together. Okay, so that's a pretty, pretty easy one to do. Now we could kind of expand on this one. Let's say you wanted an ankle strap. So then you just kind of start from here, and do a little loop like this. Okay, so that's, that's the part that's attached to the shoe that holds the strap. Okay, then you Do a really simple parallel line. And again, you do a little curve to show that it's following the foot all the way around. It just kind of is easier for people to understand at this point. It doesn't just look like a 2D thing. It looks a little bit more 3D, although not so much. So then you erase the foot lines. sketch this in a bit. Okay, so as you design you have to think, okay how's this woman getting into this shoe if it has an ankle strap? How's she getting her foot in there? So in, in traditional shoemaking she would either have an elastic on the inside of that strap so you could just stretch it over the foot, but usually it's a buckle. And buckles are a bit tricky, but it's not so tough. If this is the halfway point of the strap, buckles are usually on this side of the strap. Okay, and I would bring it into about here. So it's, it ends here on this side, all right? So let's say I wanted a half round buckle. Just draw a curve there. And the buckle opening has to be as wide as the strap, maybe even a little bit wider. So then you just draw a little line. And then extend 
So it's parallel to this line, but only a couple of millimeters wide. Okay, then you draw the little notch for the pin. You draw the pin coming out and it kind of extends into the actual lines of the buckle because that's what a buckle does. It kind of goes like this. It doesn't sit here and it doesn't go here. It kind of sits in the middle of the actual buckle. And then I'm going to draw two parallel lines which hold the buckle in. Okay, so that's the buckle right there. Now once I ink it in, it'll be a little bit nicer, but just so you get an idea anyway. Let's do a two-piece shoe. All right, so I'm gonna do a wedge. I'm gonna do one that's a little bit different from the last time. Okay, let's do something a little bit angular. So it'll come out like this, come in like this, maybe it has a piece that comes out like this. It's a pretty kick-ass wedge, I think. Okay. I think I want to kind of continue this line and bring it back here so this is the back counter it's a little bit wide okay so let's do something like so that's the first line that's pretty good and then we'll just do kind of a more basic front. Okay, so when you're doing the front part of this two-piece shoe, the front will have to come up past, this is the ball of the foot here. So to hold the foot, the front piece will have to come up past the ball of the foot so it holds the foot in place. Okay. Now when you have um, an open shoe like this, one part of it's open to view. It's not all closed up like the other two that I had originally done. When you have this, there's something called an insole board that you'll be able to see. So, you know like when you look at a sandal, you can see a bit of shoe here. The board that the foot is sitting on. Okay, so you want to draw that in. So that lets everybody know that this shoe is open right here. Okay, so next up I'm going to draw some sandals.